this new this new uh, the lamp the two element the line begins with what she is burning and we're going to the very end of the line there's eight lines from the bottom and it comes to the point ultimately in recognizing that this phenomenal greatness and truth that he has reached is only Ha'ora. And Tzorich Lir says Bivchinas Ho'atzmus. It is necessary, it is right to design, desire and want the only the element of uh, the aspect of Atzmus which is the ultimate ultimate uh, truth and the ultimate reality <coughs> not something which is uh, which is uh, to be experienced but to to relate to the Hainu and that is in the Alakus of Teiru Mitzvahs now what is the difference what is this Alakus of Teiru Mitzvahs and the Alakus that is in the world that we have identified up until now. Now all of a sudden, this is a category, a different category. So, he's going to bring down where he's took him, just want to introduce the principle. Clearly, the world is a godly creation, and it is manifestly a godly creation. <coughs> As we said, <coughs> at every level of, the, of, of worldly identification, there is a godly element. It's nefesh, ruach, neshama, and there is even further a godly creation phenomenal godly creation and you can actually identify with the godliness that is that is contained and that is manifest in the world what is the alakus of Tero Mitzvah <coughs> there is, there is a, a fundamental difference and that is the Lakus in the world is manifesting a Lakus through the world. <coughs> and therefore, this Lakus in effect enhances it becomes part of the world to the extent that it is possible to think of the world as a separate entity with phenomenal qualities. Then we realize, hey, these qualities are really higher than world. There's something here that is super worldly. But, in fact, but essentially, it is a, it is a mitzvah. El Kus and Teiro Mitzvah. It's a, it's a different, different phenomenon. Teiru <coughs> Mitzvah is when Hashem came down. <coughs> excuse me. 
Shem came down to the world and and said, I want to be here with you. And that will be possible if you do this and this. Tehnomitzvah is not it's not mislabish in the world. It does not become part and parcel. They cannot be understood from a worldly perspective at all. They don't enhance the world. But we say, Tehnomitzvah, there is Tehnomitzvah, there is, there are mitzvahs in the Torah that pertain to Moshet in behavior, in behavior, in normal civil behavior. Like we said, don't rob, don't steal, and so forth. So he would say, oh, Taino Mitzvah is there to make the world a better place to live. No, that's not, that's not what Taino Mitzvah is about. Taino Mitzvah is not to make the world a better place to live. And as we pointed out many, many times, that even that if you examine any mitzvah, even a mitzvah that seems to be something that is mislapsus in the world, that really fits into the contours of the world, you find that just to go, just to scratch it, just the surface, beyond the surface, it is a completely different thing. Totally different thing. It is not enhancing the world. It's not mislapsus in the world. This is the godly presence that you have directly by the, by, by the God. And, and it's valid only, valid only in the godly presence. Like I've pointed out many times, it says, the, the second commandment is, What does Alponai mean? Alponai means in my presence. She says, "My presence is everywhere." But the 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 message over there is, you should not have other gods, not because that will damage you, because you'll be you'll be involved in in, in falsehood, and it may lead to bad behavior, it may lead to dec- decadence, whatever it is. I'll pull my in my presence. That's completely different different phenomena. This is the Alakusha Batero Mitzvah. This is the, the, the Atmos presence in the world. This is what this is why in the beginning of the Aseras Adibris is Onoichi of, of Hashem Elikecha. Onoichi Hashem Elikecha. When we say we have to Hashem Elikecha, we have to Hashem Elikecha is speaking about the Mebush in third person. Right? Anybody know the, the grammar? We have to Hashem Elikecha is in third person. Throughout the whole Torah, Hashem is referred to in the third person. Why is that third person? Vahavtem, you should love Hashem Alakacha, your God. You should love Hashem Alakacha. So somebody is telling you, you should love Hashem Alakacha. This is speaking of Hashem Alakacha in the third person. On Noichi Hashem Alakacha, this is. Oh, thank you. Huh? On Noichi Hashem Alakacha, this is directly Hashem speaking to you. There's no other moment like that. And this is the new from Matan This is why by Matan there was this phenomenal <coughs> uh, transformation of the world. The world was not the world. flame everywhere and there were sounds from everywhere and the whole world stopped. It says the, the, the birds stopped, stopped chirping and the, 
and the the donkey stopped uh, wooing, whatever their uh, their sounds called. And the whole thing stopped because this was not providing for the world at all. This is called the Atmos. That's why it's called the Atmos of the Mitzvah. We said before that he is doing Avedis Hashem, he is eating and drinking in order to la- learn and daven. That's also Teiru Mitzvah, but no, but that's a different thing. That's his experience, his practicing Teiru Mitzvah. The Atzmah in Teiru Mitzvah means the Etz and the Elokus that is in Teiru Mitzvah. <coughs> <coughs> this is <coughs> how, this is why it's possible to do a mitzvah and to learn to daven I don't know what I'm saying (coughs) so what's going on like I pointed out many times you send Shem you send Shem put your feet together you're standing there like a glump and you're whispering something in front of the wall and I don't even know what I'm saying. But it's a mitzvah. Then it's valid. This is what's called the Elokush of the Atzmos. The Atzmos. There is the, there is the, there is the present, the Godly presence itself, the essence. I heard from Rabbi Yechel and Gordon Rashaul. There was a yid in 770, an elderly gentleman, who sat and said tilim all day. So Bechman is not here already for 30 years. <laughs> okay. Sat tilim all day. Well, it was a normal guy, he was saying tilim. So Bechman asked him, Rabbi, what are you saying? What are you doing? So he said, I don't know. I only know I'm speaking to the one who lives forever. This what? is, huh? Why does he have to say the Elokus should be Tehra and Mitzvah? Why does he say that he wants the Elokus? He wants the Atma? Where was it? Um, this is the kind of thing has to be given, like you said. If you go into somebody's home, if the host is not there, you, you don't have it. Well, I'm in your home? No. You have to be there. How does, where, where is the other how do you, how do you get it? How do you relate to it? You can see the imagination? No. He came down and gave us Tehromitzvah and wherever, and we have it. Mesha Kosov, I'm going through the Psukim. I mean, we didn't write yesterday. By Yoram Kenaliyama. By Yoram Kenaliyama, he lifted his nation. The Koidem Loze, when before this Posuk it says, Oimen, he says, Kiniz Gov Shmoi Levad. His name is Nizgov, is remote. Hoide Yaretz Veshomoy, and only Hoide, only the glory of the name comes into Eretz Veshomoy, which is how Bechinas Haora de Haora Lavat, only the Haora of the Haora of Elokus, which is what comes into the world. Avo Vayorem Kenel Yamei, Bodim Kenel Vayorem Kenel Yamei, that he gave a, a means for the Amei to be completely uplifted. This is Hamish Bechinas Hamshocha Hamshochas Atzmi Yus. Amshoch Atzmus. This is Amshoch Bechinas Amshoch Atzmus. This is the Hamshoch, not a Hamshoch that can be mislabish in the world. It's just a presence. Like we always bring this, this, this is a Moshe. And it's phenomenal that the way that the human being is capable of kind of experiencing within his own realm this type of a thing. Like you said, you you were invited to somebody for, for lunch. 
and the, the lunch is served. It's a wonderful lunch. That's if your host says takes leave and says, "Okay, enjoy your lunch," and I'm going. You left with an open mouth. What are you doing? Why? What's wrong? What's wrong? The lunch is not good. You'll enjoy the lime better. The, the food will taste better. It's better if I'm here. That's not what it's about. <clears throat> this is the type of insight, the type of refinement, type of truth that is present in every human being. And this is what, what we, <laughs> this is what, what we have to focus in and, and, and bring out in ourselves. Venikro, Venikroim, or Venikro, Am Kroivo. The Jewish people are called Am Kroivo, the nation that is close to him, the nation that's related to him. Shekroivim Lushem Havai. Now they are close to the Shem Havai. Shem Havai is the Shem Ho'etzem, and they are close, they are close. And as is described more in detail in, uh, elsewhere. But this is the the, the 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 focus. Ultimately, as we said, when one follows through and the avoida on the seichel, and then he's misboinein, and then he's, and then hamok is hadas to 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 relate to the, to its reality and to its truth. He comes to this conclusion that actually this is what is the desire. This is what should be wanted. He benefesh habaham his. This whole avoider is in the nefesh of Why is Okay, I don't know if I want to go into this to find, but Shem Havaya is the Atmos that has been introduced to us. That's what we say. Atmos is, is everywhere. Avraham Avinu also knew of Atmos, but he didn't, he didn't have any relation to it. Teiromitzvah is what provided for it. Do not step into the inner chambers uninvited. This is the this is the is in the This boy knows how now with this he his boy knows. Yovin ha nefesh habab is gamkin. That the Avi Damash and this is the Avi. This is his one who's the Rebbe Shabbat. We should also understand that is the Avi. Poor old boy, habito, and it affects in the Rebbe Shabbat is the beetle aspect. It affects the Rebbe Shabbat is the beetle aspect. Naturally, the Rebbe Shabbat is is bent on Yeshus, on something tangible, something that is that he can experience. And here he is not he is not he is totally devoid of any experience. And this beetle is what he's looking for. Not to have a personal experience. Leos Nitak Nitak means dissociated. Natak means to tear away. Lies nitak minyone ilm hazer. To be torn off 
von eurem Hase, in Jolim auf eurem Hase. And to be in a key of aspect, in a close, in aspect of closeness to Olakus. What's Olakus? How do you grasp Olakus? I want to conceptualize Olakus. You find that out after you try it. <laughs> And thus, his entire hatred, his entire desire is in Tero Mitzvah. And I want to point out, he uses the word hatred. Hatred and rotting are referring to the same, the same level, essentially. But there is a, there is a, a special implication of what hatred. Rotting means means the, the want I want it because of its truth this is like a a, 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 um, <coughs> a statement of the essence Hefetz has an element of experience Hefetz means a desire Hefetz is what's called Rotzin and Oinek together what's called Hefetz which means he has he, he is torn away from any kind of experience, any kind of elamaz. And he also only me his alakus. And in the lakus that this is this is his desire. This is not merely because it's the truth I want it. This is a desire, this is what he wants. The Rebbe once once expressed in a Fabrengan. Yishmaki Mesiris <coughs> Nefesh. It's wonderful to have guys like that around. Bakumta yeah? Gishmak in the Mercedes Nefesh. Bezehu Tach Lissinid is on Shoma Lamat. This is. <coughs> pardon me. This is the ultimate goal. In the Neshoma coming down below, they levare ulasak is a nefesh abams. In order to be mevare, to purify, and ultimately the sacking to perfect as a nefesh abams. One second. Second. Birur essentially refers to cleaning up. Sucking okay, is that which perfects it, brings out, brings out its, its true, uh, the true quality, its truth. Sucking. Because what we, have, what we have identified over here is not merely to have the Nefesh Abamis in a non-interfering state. But he's actually close to the whole Hefetz is in Tehidu Mitzvah. Yes. Yes, Ram. Um, how is it, if you're talking about the Bittal and Abishu Bahamas and you're talking about the way he relates with, all, with this Alakus and Torah Mitzvahs is in a way that's, I guess, Dafka not his experience. Uh, it's Dafka not his experience. Yeah. How does how does he have a chayfetz? I'm saying <coughs> because this is this is the, the, ultimately this is the reality of the nefesh. This is called biru and tikkun nefesh nefesh As we were pointing out throughout this whole discussion, the nefesh abamis is two mm-hmm. things: a living nefesh and an intelligent nefesh. A living nefesh means it, ex- it is able to experience, able to relate, and to 
and to uh, recognize, <coughs> as was pointed out, that life, excuse me, <coughs> life is is not a tangible thing, not a worldly thing. It's a, it's a godly thing. An intelligent. What is intelligence? Intelligence. Ultimately, the ultimate level of intelligence is the das. And that is that the reality of the world is not due to my to to the touch, not due to its proving its presence to me. It is I inherently know it. Like I said, we said the other day, we said, the, you know, throughout this thing, the difference between standing outside and looking inside and being inside. The Rav Shabbat is inside. It also came from, from the same source. And ultimately, the experience of the Rav Shabbat is, the sense of the Rav Shabbat is that there is a reality right here where I am. And that is the reality. That is what I want to relate to. The reality right here, meaning something different from the physical worldliness of right here. I'm not getting what physical it's worldliness is. It's not real because it is only if I if I open my eyes and I touch it, then it's real. Yeah. So okay. Reality is a different in different category. Reality is 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 a, 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 a this is what seichel. This is what intelligence looks like. Looks for. What, what's real? By my discovering it, that's not real. Hmm. Okay. So let's let's put it this way. Okay. Let, let's take. Um, the time is up. I just want to finish this. Thing. <laughs> You have your domain, you have your, your, your backyard. Um, uh, just remember that story, okay? They, they tell the Chalm a story. You heard of Chalm? Everybody heard of the wise man of Chalm? Oh, oh, look at this. Look what he's missing. Anyway, this is just, uh, you know, a whole development around the city of Chalm. You know, it's kind of a little bit uh, sarcastic. But anyway, in the helm, they bought a new oven for the shoe. It was a big deal. Now they were concerned about the, the, sh the oven being stolen. So they sat um, a, a committee for seven days and seven nights, as the story goes, and they deliberated what is the means by which we can protect the oven from being stolen. The conclusion was that we have to make a big, clearly deciphered uh, sign that says, this oven belongs to the shul of, of hell. And that will guarantee its security and safety. So this is like I think that's a classic thing, but it is truth to this. To the human being, to the intelligent person. There is reality in ownership, as we speak all the time. If there is reality in the world, then there's reality in the ownership. If the world is real, which means it has a creator. It didn't just happen from the big bang, bang. So then there's reality in ownership. So this is the Nefesh Bahamis. 
<coughs> it tastes like a, a, an Afrabamish, it's still in the world, but it recognizes and it only wants the, 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 the reality that's in the world. What's the reality? The creator, not the created. This is what gives it reality. If I have to stand there and put up grains on my on my windows and lock myself into in the steel steel bars, that's that's not normal. This is for the zoo. You lose sense that you're living in in in, in a real world. The Nefesh HaBahamis definitely can relate to this. Because it's intelligence, a living and an, an intelligent element. And it really wants to relate to what's real. This, uh, this last sentence we had Yes, as much as speak on this, but we'll have to leave it to someone else. Have a great day. I would have a chance. To be honest. Uh, for bringing Shabbos sick and sponsored by Shlomi Moy Mel- uh, Reku. Reku and his brother-in-law in honor of a refresh lima for his wife and uh, his brother-in-law's um, uncle's yard site. They're not going to be here, but we'll be there in their honor. Wait a Six o'clock. Anybody wants to come help set up? We appreciate it. <laughs>